Hey friends, welcome back. I'm in Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, today's video, I'm really unsure how to describe today's video because I am not sure what I will be doing. I just have like a, an idea, but not a plan. And the idea is to head over to the Asian side. So currently right now I'm in the European side. So I'll be heading over to the Asian side and uh, to explore the Asian side. I'll be taking the ferry all the way there. But meanwhile, from the European side, look at this for a gorgeous view. Yeah, wow. And over there, over there, that's the Asian side. And that's where I'll be going. I'll be taking one of those ferries to take me over. So, first thing first, what I have to do is I have to cross the bridge, walk over to uh, just like a small distance, it's not really that far, and um, catch the ferry. I'll be documenting the whole trip through and uh, see what we're gonna unfold and uh, discover. You probably read the title, you probably know what this video about. I have absolutely no idea, but all of it is the objective right now is to explore, wonder, and of course, as always, get lost. So let's check out what can I do. Maybe I don't have to cross the bridge. Maybe I can get it from here. Let me ask someone if it's possible. So I didn't have to cross the bridge. It happened that the station is here. I just asked like one of the security guys and he said to me I can go over to Asia side with one of the ferries here. I'm still unsure which ferry is gonna come but I'm just gonna go with it anyway and whatever it takes me, it takes me and see what happens. That's pretty much it. Right, boarding to Kadakoi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Kadikoi. <laughs> and the weather is nice today, so it's nice to be outside, right? Going up uh, to the top deck. It's a very nice setup. Let's go right to the top. Sorry, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get the view, too. <laughs> By the way, for those who are wondering, it's about a 44 cents dollars. Or euros, it's all equal now for this journey. And we'll calculate how long it takes. But look at this for a stunning view. Oh my god. And by the way, when I made the intro, was I was there. And uh, I didn't really think about this place where I came into here. I thought I have to go all the way around and cross the bridge. But I decided let's check it here and it worked out much better than I thought. So let's go to Asia. So we're leaving Europe now into Asia and then back into Europe. But then afterwards it's going to be a one-way ticket into Asia and that's that. Because this journey is all the way to India by land. Sounds really nice but my god it's so difficult. I have channel, yes. Y you want the channel? Sure. It's Mo Draj. Just my name. Nice to meet you. Are you Turkish? Yes. Cyprus. Cyprus? Yes. From Cyprus. We're on the go. We're heading over. This ferry is going to Asia? Asia? 
not going to Asia? Where is it going? It's going yes. this side? Yes. Well, I guess we're going to some somewhere else. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> this, this is what happens when you just when you just wander <laughs> and get lost. Actually, we're going the other way because like Asia is there, and we're I'm going that way, which I should be going that way. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure out what happens and I'll probably catch another ferry all the way to Asia or Asia. As so they call it here, the Turks. That's the bridge I was planning to, to be crossing over there. And the plan was like to come over to this side and catch a ferry to Asia. But I guess I took a ferry instead of crossing the bridge and uh, I'll probably have to like uh, switch into another um, ferry to take me all the way to Asia but look at this damn view like it's so gorgeous here we got a mosque here another like a uh, mosque there and mosque in the far distance as well it looks so beautiful this view well I was right this ferry does go to Asia so I don't to Asia side I don't have to change anything it's a one stop here they drop off people they pick up more people and we're heading to Asia and it's going to be beautiful ride I was right the view is so gorgeous from here We've got the flag the Turkish flag there there's a lot of mosque on top of this hill and look over there that's where we were so beautiful the city and where we're heading is the Asia side there look at this view from the other side of the ship or the ferry that's the that's over there is around that area where I'm staying and all this here is like uh, fairly touristic actually and a lot of a lot of things going on here for tourism actually the other side as well that I just show you got a big bridge over there crossing into from Europe side into Asia side it's gorgeous very beautiful city I love Istanbul we're arriving now exiting momentarily into Asia side let's go and explore right we just arrived the trip wasn't so bad actually, it was like about 45 minutes or so, uh, including the stop that we had. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's nice, uh, chilled, very comfortable, the ferry service here is, is incredible. Uh, yeah, total of about 45, 45 cents, uh, 44, 45 cents, um, the cost of the trip, which is um, it's, it's, it's quite a bargain to be fair, uh, even for the locals here. Anyway, let's go and explore Asia side now and see what we are gonna see in this side. I have no idea what destination I'll be walking, but I'm just literally just gonna walk. My mobile phone is running out of battery, so technically I don't have a map. So we're just gonna do what we do best, get lost. And this is what we get to see. Just I exited from there and this is what we get to see by the way it's very hot today so uh, a lot of sweating around I'll probably taking breaks or trying to find some shade every now and then well yeah I'll go this way I arrived to this like uh, area very lively here not far from like the ferry station I just crossed a couple of roads and I arrived to this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool discovery here. Very lively, very active. But this is like Istanbul. Right? Anywhere you go, Europe or Asia side, it's, uh, it's always uh, this way. There are all sort of like shops and of course restaurants everywhere you can get here in Istanbul. Marhaba. How much is Turkish coffee? 25. 
So it's 25. Okay, thank you. Teşekkürler. Turkish coffee in the Asian side. I thought it would be cheaper than the Istanbul, well, the European side. But 25 lira is even more expensive than the European side. I'm determined. I'll definitely get something cheaper. I'm determined. I know I can. I found this place. Makes a Turkish coffee on a hot sand. That's really the traditional way to make it. Uh, but I don't see the man here to ask for the price. This is how it looks. Look, this must be like hot. And there are the pots. But there is no server. Marhaba. You make Turkish coffee? No? Ah, it's there? Ah, okay. Marhaba, you make Turkish coffee? Yes. How much is it? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty liter. Okay. Teşekkürler. The more up I go, the more expensive it gets. And I can tell you, all the Turks who are watching this right now, they're probably laughing. And I get it, because I, I understand. I understand what, what is happening as well. I can read the Bali language. I can read the, also the, the hesitation uh, that she may had also before providing the price. It is impossible to get anywhere in Turkey. I know. Turkish coffee does not cost 30 lira. Maybe for an espresso, right now in the current situation, but Turkish coffee is not, it's not more than 15. Maybe they can push it up to 20 maximum. But I know I got it for 10 and at the heart of Istanbul, at a touristic place. I don't know, like the prices just keep changing here up and down without even notice. But it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Marhaba. You make Turkish coffee? No? No. Coffee? Normal coffee? Yeah, yeah. Uh, up here? Okay. That's your color. This is like one of the local kind of uh, snackeries, cafes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like every time you walk around, you can spot, which is, I think, sad, but it's true. You can only spot like locals eating there and I've eaten in those places pretty much since I arrived to Turkey and they're incredible they're super good and friendly people as well you're dealing with uh, limited English of course but uh, the smile says it all usually and that's all what it takes uh, butter and kofta I recommend you to try it uh, I personally love it. it Not the, that I work no, here. No, 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 no. I, I, I know. The problem is I just actually had some food. Yeah, but not for I, today. I'm gonna. No, no. It's today. I'll come back. Okay. I'll come back for sure. Um, maybe in one hour. I just, okay. I just like I'm, I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> I had a late breakfast and I do okay. YouTube, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. What's your channel? It's my name. It's Mo Draj. M O. M O. Space Draj. D R A J. AJ, Drush. yeah, D R A J, yeah, my my name, and uh, I'll definitely check it out, yeah. Okay. I, I, I was walking just by asking for like Turkish coffee for some locals here at a restaurant, and they told me like there is no coffee here, only tea, and then like the picture and the name like caught my attention. I just saw this here, and I was like, what is that? And this gentleman here has uh, been explaining to me like it's something traditional, and I need to try. And of course, I promise I will come back in one hour. Yeah. In one hour, yeah. And I will try this. And uh, this is going to be in this vlog, I guess. <laughs> this is the way how it goes. Right, I've been walking for quite some time now after the conversation with the uh, with the restaurant for like probably about half an hour or so. And uh, I gave up on trying and finding <laughs> Turkish coffee with a decent rate so I decided to just settle down for the normal coffee espresso in one of those trendy cafes 
that are going around the world. You know, I mean like trendy cafes, you know, like hipster kind of style. I don't know if you can say that, but that's what it is. It's quite nice. And like, you can see like I'm sitting here, like, and it's the street. Very cool, like very, I like, I like this uh, Asia side. Asia side is like walking around, nice cafes, nice restaurants. There's some like local areas that you can see, but I couldn't like cover it on camera in a way. But yeah, it's it's very, very I like it. I look at this gra graffiti from here. Very cool. Yeah, su super cool area. Just had the coffee. Uh, yeah, it's a trendy place. Um, I usually like try to avoid going to those places, but uh, every now and then, sure, why not? Anyway, I spoke to one of the waitresses, and she was lovely and nice. And she recommended me to head over this way, and I might end up like in a park, and also like with a sea viewpoint. So I was like, why not? Let's go and check it out. So I'm on my way right now. There's not much here, like, you know, besides those buildings. It's quite nice architecture, to be fair, here in Istanbul, whether Europe or Asia side. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head over to the park. Could be a nice place to chill. It's very hot today, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, it should be nice. Just kind of relaxing, wandering around and exploring the area. That's the idea, anyway. Like, look at those beasts. They are unbelievable, man. You find them everywhere in the city. And they're rolling like a big garbage bag on their back. It's incredible. Anyway, arriving to the park right now. Look at this statue. Haldun Tanner from 1915 to 1986 and let's head over down below yeah very cool she was right I just arrived to this like park here with a walk side and near like the seaside the beautiful view check this out It's cool they have like an uh, outdoor gym. Yeah, and this is the park. I came down those stairs there. I'm gonna head over this way. Along the walk side. It should be fun. Very relaxing as well. Fairly quiet too. And on the far side, let's go up here. Yeah, that's nice. The, the view is actually quite gorgeous, but I know it's too far for the camera to pick it up. Got like a couple of mosques there. And the smell of the sea. You either like it or hate it. But I do like it actually, even though it smells fishy. Oy. Let's head over this way and check out more of the Asian side. Very nice here actually, it's very peaceful. Even with the locals, they try and sell the, the roses there. <laughs> so cool. So it's not necessary to be a tourist to come and try and sell you the roses there is like uh, this guy selling also the uh, what do you call it it's like a sugar I just have a look this guy here with the pink it's uh, they're like sugar I don't know how to describe them cool I found like a mini market just when I exited the the park.
park area near the seaside. Very nice. And it keeps going. This one was like a, it just keeps going. Obviously, I'm not going to show the whole shot. But yeah, it keeps going. Quite nice. Very uh, artistic uh, jewelries. And in Turkey, they're very famous with handmade jewelries, soaps, bracelets, necklaces, and among many other things, of course, as well. Arriving to this like neighborhood, not far from the park and that area, like the park usually, or where the cars were with the compound that I was trying to exit. Not so far, a bit of work, but not so far. But it's a, it's a very kind of posh area, you can say. I mean, you can tell from the buildings. Look out here, beautiful buildings, a bit modernized but in a Turkish style, I guess. And like the walking streets are so nice here. But I was thinking about going, I just saw this thing here. See that? What is that there? Moda is Kilisi. I don't know what that is. Go and check it out. Like, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Well, maybe because <laughs> it looks like I have to go down. Yeah, I don't know. This this walk, I don't know. Just I'm curious what this place is. Let's check it out. I'm actually here. It's not far from where I was. I just had to go downstairs, and uh, let's check it out. Look at this. It's beautiful, actually. Super nice. Very peaceful here. The question is, what is it? And why is it here? <laughs> oh, it looks like a cafe. <laughs> Hmm. Just a cafe? I wasn't expecting that. Let's go up. Ah, oh, it's a cafe. With a view. It's fairly busy here. Fairly busy. Very peaceful, very beautiful cafe. But probably the busiest cafe I've seen <laughs> here in Istanbul since I arrived. And I can tell you there are a lot of busy places here. Well, for a cafe, interesting. Right, moving on. Let's go elsewhere. Continue the tour. I see a fruit shop and I see figs. Look at the size of those figs, man. Oh my God. There is there too. Let's pick a couple. Oh. Marhaba. Oh, look how juicy this is. Yeah, the hell with it. We're gonna eat it now. Okay. Let's see what the price is. Three figs, four. So that came at zero point, like about 300, oh, yes. 300 grams. Mama, hello. For for eight lira. Where is he gone? <laughs> I pay you? 
or inside? Inside. Ah, okay. Shakula. <laughs> he just handed me the bag. I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> but yeah, I go inside and uh, I pay. Now look, look at this shop. You got pretty much everything. Cheese, honey. Yeah, it's a normal supermarket. Normal supermarket, you can get anything you want here. What about? <laughs> right. Got the figs. <laughs> uh, yeah, the interaction with the paying the process. They're very cheeky, like, you know, when it comes to the car, they always try to add a little bit of extra, a few liras in. Uh, one, like one or two liras in because uh, they say transaction and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know, you just do that. Anyway, they're uh, they're business people here. Like they're they're very clever. The Turks are amazing. Like when it comes to business and uh, negotiation. But anyway, let's find a place to sit down, or maybe not even sit down, or actually sit down. Look, it just works out. When you call it out, it just works out. So I'm gonna sit here at a playground and I don't understand brother don't video this why not oh you no, no problem no not you just me and this it's okay <laughs> anyway oh we're sitting here let's give it figs Taste this, shall we? They're quite large, like, look at the size of them. Amazing, so tasty. Very, very good. Wow. <laughs> this is even better. <laughs> Just finished the uh, figs now. And uh, let's continue the tour. I know this is like a long video, but uh, the idea behind it, I thought, is to cover as much as possible with Asia side here in Istanbul because I don't think it's always like giving it enough justice. And the Asian side in Istanbul is quite good, you know, like it's, it's very chill, more locals around the area here. Um, it's nice, you know. And also, just different type of content to highlight different places rather than just the usual ones, the Blue Mosque and the Grand Bazaar and all that. I've actually been there yesterday and I didn't bother to take the camera with me. Maybe I'll go again to make a video or two, well, one video there, maybe, we'll see. Um, but for now, I think it's time, like I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I think I want to head back into that restaurant that I uh, promised the guy I will be back for it to give it a try. Even though like there is a lot of, uh, of restaurants around my area here, but I want to keep my promise and uh, head over there and uh, <laughs> check it out. And also like if there is something I noticed about this area here, by the way, Asia side is huge, it's as European side in Istanbul, but I'm sticking around like uh, an area that I was recommended to go and check out. It's called like, excuse my pronunciation, but it's called like Kirokoi, which is the area I'm in, and it's super trendy. And like, um, there's a lot of cafes here, I noticed, like every corner, in every street, in every alley that you go to, there are just cafes after cafes. <laughs> You'll never struggle of getting a coffee or a tea here at this area. Uh, it's super cool. But I'm almost to actually. Let's double check how much is the barber here. I see a barber shop here. Let's price it because I got it yesterday, and you guys probably have seen the video already. Or 
probably see here a barber shop, but where is it? Oh, it's here. Oh, that looks trendy. Let's check it out. Is this the entrance? Marhaba. How much is haircut? How much is haircut? 150 Turkish. 150. Okay. Teşekkürler. See what I mean? It's uh, it's very very weird. Like the, the pricing all around, you know, it's simple. It just goes up and down. What I got yesterday, the video is already uploaded. I'll link it below. Check it out. It's uh, there's another one here. Let's check him out. Marhaba. How much is the haircut? Just a haircut is 70? <sighs> ah, 70. Yeah. Okay. That's your color. It's crazy, man. Like, the price is up and down. Nobody can figure out what is, like, the correct, or not, not correct, but it's just everybody has, like, different pricing. Anyway, uh, where am I now? Let's go. I have no idea which way to go, but... I'll figure it out. But you've seen like, you know, the haircut yesterday was like for 50 lira. Plus like the beard was like another 30, that was 80 and I just paid him 100. Because uh, Juma was like amazing guy, good service and he deserved it. And that's the, like the way how I calculate in my head. Anyway, let's go for something to eat in that place that I want to find the way to now <laughs> there is a place I found it and I'm back and it's like he's waiting for me <laughs> I'm back <laughs> can I sit of course okay like. uh, I'm gonna order this and give it a try I can see like a local is already eating it yeah. as well yeah <laughs> it's good huh? <laughs> I'll give it a try yeah okay yeah uh, do you like aubergine no, I actually don't like okay. aubergine. Just no. yogurt. Bar. Just yogurt, yeah. Yogurt kofta, this, this one here. Okay, thank you. I sat here at the restaurant. I made my order. I ordered the... This one, it's in Turkish. It's in Turkish, but this one, Derkili yogurt kofta. At the Derkili kofta si. How you yeah. say? Directly Köftecisi. <laughs> Directly is the uh, name of this street. It's uh, an old, old name of the street. Uh, its new name is Moda Caddesi, Moda Street. Uh, direct means like poles. People used to call these... Uh, what do people call them? Columns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Columns. yeah. These columns, yeah. direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, direct. <laughs> What he said. <laughs> what he said. Let's give it a try. And this is the picture. This is what it looks like. You have the kafta here, the kufta, the yogurt, and fries. But of course, we're gonna see it like live in a second. I already ordered. I heard the bell. So the waiter is gone to get the meal and it should be now here any second. Oh and it's here. Oh my go. god, look how how beautiful this presentation. Nice. So we have this is the kufta. What type of meat is it? It should be cow's meat. Okay. So like it's like beef. Beef, yeah. And we have the yogurt here, and then the fries, and then the, like the peppers. But I doubt it if it's spicy. It's not spicy. No, I doubt it's it. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. No. No way. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a taste test, shall we? So I'm, what I'm gonna do first is actually give it like a separate test. So I, I want to grab a little bit of the yogurt alone. So it's quite interesting because like the yogurt is actually cold with an unbelievable 
good taste like the flavor is amazing all right and uh, oh, there's like chunks of I think chunks of bread but it'll be very hard like to notice it I think this is like a piece of bread here let me give it a try mm. yeah it's a piece of bread with the yogurt just amazing but uh, the, the meat the meat is what is important <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this like that all right there's the meat here and I'm gonna get a bit of the fries the yogurt all that good stuff and this is going to be the tastest authentic Turkish meal here in the Asian side Istanbul cheers Yeah, so good. Really, really good. Like, not a joke. This is an honest. This is like this makes me happy. Yeah, it's definitely 100% good. And it's very interesting that obviously the meat is hot, it's warm, and the yogurt is cold, and it's like the mixture of hot and cold together in your mouth it gives it like a warm welcome. And my taste buds are actually now dancing. It's so delicious. Yeah, it's definitely good and. Um, I'm definitely gonna finish this in full. So delicious. Really good. <laughs> Just finished the, 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 the food, the kufta with the yogurt. He, he took the plate, it's empty now. And uh, he asked me, do I want anything else? And I said, uh, no, I'm okay. And he said, do you want a tea? Tea is on the house. And I was like, sure I'll have tea tea is pretty much here don't like you drink so much tea like I don't know how many glasses of tea or cups of tea that I've had since this morning until now and now it's like what is it like it's about four and a half four four thirty in the afternoon I probably had like about five tea so far it's just non-stop tea in Turkey and I'm not complaining I love it by the way this kofta was delicious Right, just had the lunch, dinner, whatever, it's 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 in the afternoon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, absolutely delicious. The cost was actually also reasonable, uh, to be fair, with a meal like that. I, um, my belly is full and um, I'm happy, completely tasty. The cost was like uh, 76 lira, which is an equivalent for around like $4 or so. So four dollars lunch in uh, as a, at, at a local restaurant uh, with a beautiful service. The waiter is amazing and he spoke really good English. And uh, yeah, I uh, I'm glad I'm glad I bumped into them because uh, it makes it much easier. Like when you meet a local and recommend you something uh, local to eat. With that being said. I'm gonna end the video here. I know this is a long one, but uh, it's a different type of tour that I wanted to show and showcase like how, you know, the Asian side of Istanbul is like far away from the main attraction sites in the European side, like the Blue Mosque and the Grand Bazaar. I know I've said this before, but I'm repeating it again at the very end. If you made it this far at the video, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy it and uh, Please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Giving the video a thumbs up helps the channel, helps with the algorithms. And uh, as always, see you on the next one.